What's up, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved the look that I showed you in the beginning. So the first thing I start off with is my Milk Hydro Primer. You guys, I'm obsessed with this primer. I forgot who exactly put me onto it, but I believe it was Aaliyah's face. Um, and I've been using it for a while because my skin is very dry, so it's very important for me to use hydrating products, whether it's just primer or anything like that. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is my brows, you guys. I'm going in with my e.l.f. I don't know what the exact thing is called. I think it's called like a duo brush or something. I've been using this for a while, too. Um, so sometimes I'll do like the brow gel. This time I didn't because I didn't need to. So the first thing I did was brush out my brows and then I'm gonna go in with this. Honestly, y'all, I think this is a lip liner. Um, I'm gonna see if I can try to tag it below, but I know this came from a hair store, so I'm not really sure if it matters or brand it is, but it's just a regular brown lip liner. Um, I go in with it at the bottom and then I take my black liner. This is also a lip liner. But I take my black liner and then I go in and I pretty much just like fill it in. Now y'all, trust the process, okay? Trust the process. I know it looks crazy. I know it looks crazy. That's why I'm smiling. But listen, it is gonna look right, I promise. So next, once I get done filling in, I go in with my Tarte Concealer. Um, and concealer is gonna be how you get your brows. If you're following this, I do not rely on my free hand without concealer. I will always have concealed brows because I'm not good at shaping. So concealer is how I get my brows to look so good. So I'm going to go in with my concealer, you guys, and pretty much just shape out that thing, shape it out to the best of my ability. And now we're going to go to the next brow and pretty much do the same thing. I go in with my brown liner at the bottom and then I use my black liner to shape in my brows because my brow hairs are actually really dark. I think my hair is brown, but it's so dark that it looks black. So yeah, you guys, again, trust the process. I promise it's going to come out right. I was looking in the camera a lot and I was like, oh my God, they're going to think. <laughs> but I promise you, y'all, it's going to come together. The important thing is to really use concealer. When I say heavy concealer, heavy on the concealer, okay? And so now what I do is in the front, I'll just brush out the excess. I always draw my line at the bottom a little too long to make sure I can brush it out because I can always conceal whatever don't look right. So like I said, I'm not really too focused on doing it right freehand. I'm just making sure that I get the shape that I want a little bit so I know I can conceal it to look how it needs to look at the end of the process pretty much so yeah y'all that's what y'all see and so then I take the excess um, concealer that's at the bottom of my brow and just brush it down and make sure you know that acts as pretty much a base for my eyeshadow and yeah, we're just going to pretty much keep on repeating this process until it looks how I want it to look. Y'all, I don't know why I make such disgusting faces. I think because I'm so concentrated, I just make the weirdest faces. But yeah. So next I go in with my Morphe setting spray, you guys. I think Kiana J put me onto this about two years ago. So next I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Morphe Truth or Dare palette. I've had this for a minute. Um, and it's basically just have like browns, neutrals, it has a black and a few grays. A lot of times for the past, I want to say two years, I haven't been doing color on my eyelids. I usually just do a brown. Um, and if I'm going to do a little razzle dazzle, I'll do like a tan at the top to kind of make it a little ombre effect. But yeah, so I don't really do a lot with my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going in with my concealer. So I'm going to basically just hide all my dark spots because I have a lot of them on my face. Um, So I usually do like an actual color corrector, which is orange, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to use a regular concealer. You don't have to add a lot to your dark spots. Just put enough to cover it. Next, you're going to just blend it out. It's no specific order. Just blend them out. And you don't have to blend them out completely. Like, you don't have to just make sure you don't see the mark anymore because when you add the foundation, it's going to take all that away. So just make sure it's blending in enough to where it's like you don't see the dark spot. Next, I'm going in with my foundation. Um, so I know a lot of people put it on their hands or like put it on their sponge and then add it. I don't like that. I've been doing this 
this way for since I've been doing makeup. I just pump it and smear it over my face um, because that's just how I get the best for how I do my makeup. Um, and I'm using the Refi Duo brush. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this brush. I got this brush for Christmas. It was an investment because I think it's very overpriced. Well, I thought it was. It's $34, so yeah. Um, but I can honestly say that it really is worth it. It's the best foundation brush I've ever had in that zone period. Next, we're going in with our concealer again, and we're just going to conceal under the eyes. And I can say with this, this is like maybe two shades lighter than me. This is not too light to where it's going to look crazy. That was a big thing for me when I first started doing my makeup. I would just not have the right shades of foundation, concealer. And so even though I would have the technique down, it wouldn't look right because the colors were just completely off. So next, I'm going to go in with my Morphe spray. Spray it again, y'all. Let it dry for like maybe 10 seconds at the most. So now, y'all, I'm going back in with that same liner that I use on my brows. I'm using it on my lip. Um, and I always do this just to give my lips a little bit more, I guess you could say, make it more fuller. Um, I overline my lips, so I go on top of my actual line and line over there. I know it looks crazy, but it's going to look right at the end, I promise. So next, we're going to go in and just blend out all of that concealer, making sure, you know, it looks good, it looks concise, and we have that nice ombre effect from the concealer to the foundation, period. I have this palette in my face because this is the only mirror that I have besides looking at myself on the screen, so yeah. But next we're gonna go in with another concealer just under the eye, because I really like a bright under eye. So just under the eye. Then next I'm gonna go in with my lipstick, y'all. This is by Juvia's Place. This lipstick feels so, this lipstick, this lipstick feels so good on my lips, y'all. I was so nervous to try it because it's really bright. And I like to do more darker colors, you know, or like a ombre effect with some kind of nude on my lips. But I was like, why not? I really wanted to try all of my new products. So I was like, this is the perfect time, period. So now we're going in and we're going to blend out. And we're going to blend out this layer of concealer. I really love a bright under eye, y'all. I don't think y'all understand. Like, it is so fire. So fire. Make sure you get all up in the creases, honey. Let me tell you, look at that difference. Look at that difference. My bags under my eyes look so much smaller. It's insane. Like, it just does it to another level. I'm telling you. So next, we're going to go in with the contour stick. This is by Mario. I love the way it feels. It's just, I don't think it's, like, smooth enough. Like, I think next time I'm going to spray some setting spray on it and try to get it a little bit more like creamier I guess I don't know it was just it was kind of stiff on my face if that makes sense but it was still like it still does the job so I went in with another layer of setting spray and now we're just going to blend out that contour and making sure it's sitting in the places that we want it to sit and that's on period <laughs> period so next, I'm going to go in with the actual palette that you guys have been seeing throughout this video. This is the Juvia's Place pa Palette. Juvia's Place Palette, excuse me. Um, I've had this for a minute. This is not new, but this is my go-to. Love it, y'all. I was terrified. When I say terrified, I was terrified. Look at my face. Look at my face. I'm like... Oh, she's bright. That is my exact thought. Like, she's bright. So next, I'm going in with my blush. These are from Juvia's Place as well. I'm mad because these are the only two cream blushes that I have. And so, you know, they don't... It's going to end up working, but if I was to do like a red lip and be going out, I would usually do a more brownish kind of blush or a more darker red blush. So I'm definitely going to get more of that. But I had to work with what I had to work with, which was two shades of pink. So I chose the darker pink. And it's really about just blending it out, y'all. Like, it took me a little minute to blend this out. But after I did, she came out really good. 
So next I'm going in with the Morphe baking powder. So I have this translucent powder and I also have Juvia's Place translucent powder. I honestly think that I like this one a little bit more. I'm just going back in with my black liner, you guys, because I really want to create a more ombre effect on my lips. Um, I used to put like actual eyeshadow on my color to make it pop more, but I don't think I need to do that with this lipstick. So yeah. So I got a little smudge, but don't worry y'all. We're going to conceal that. I'm telling you, concealer is my best friend when I do my makeup. Like if I didn't have concealer or didn't know how to conceal things, I would literally just be terrible at makeup. So now I'm going back in and I'm just dusting off the powder after it's finished baking. And I love the matte look. Like, I just love the way my makeup looks after I brush off the powder. It just looks so complete and so good. Now I'm just going in with one of my pressed powders. So I use pressed powder just to basically add the color back into my face because I don't want to look like a ghost. So next we're going in with some eyeshadow. It's the, I think it's the black one. I'm just going in on my liner because I like to really have an ombre effect on my lips. This has honestly become one of my favorite parts to do my makeup, which is my bottom liner. Y'all, I did not get this down pack until the end of last year, but I love doing it because it just makes your eyes pop. Like, look at that. It just makes it pop. So, yeah, I love doing a bottom liner. It's a part of my routine every single time. So now I'm doing the regular liner. Nothing too crazy. I don't do wings and stuff like that because I'm not there yet. But trust me, she's going to get there, period. So next I'm going in with this Fenty lip gloss, you guys. It's in the shade red. I like it. It's bold. Honestly, I think if I was going out... I feel like I would not do the gloss because it's a lot. So next I'm going to do my lashes. Y'all, the packaging on this was crazy. Like it was never that deep. When I say never that deep, it was never that deep. Now I'm just going in, I'm gonna cut the lashes because they're too long and then I'm gonna put some glue on them. Before I do, I make sure I just spray another layer of setting spray so my makeup can be setting. And I'm gonna add in my lashes, y'all. I'm I've gotten I've gotten very good at adding my lashes. When I say very good, I mean very good. Like this only took me maybe five minutes at the most, which is insane. But yeah, you guys, so that's it. I just do a little bit more pressed powder just to add that little color back in my face. I love my brown face. I'm finished, you guys. It's the finished product. Look at the side profile. Ew. She's giving, she's giving. She's giving. <laughs> All right, so I'm attempting to do the Jackie Aina iconic fake mole. I don't have liquid eyeliner, so yeah. I only have this. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Okay. And then I think she puts one on her nose. <laughs> I mean, I don't look bad. I feel like it's okay. I don't think she puts one right here. She puts one on her nose and then somewhere else too, I know. And I've always wanted to try it, but she does it with, I think, liquid eyeliner and I don't have that, so I've always been scared. So this is my first time doing the fake moles and I kind of like it. I mean, I don't think it's like a, you know, I probably should put them in a different area, but yeah, it's cute cute honestly i probably like if i was going out i probably would not wear the gloss with it only because i'm not a <sighs> i feel like the gloss is meant for like only to put on by itself um and i'm a matte girly i love matte lipstick so i feel like if i was going out i would definitely just keep it as a matte but because i wanted to try out y'all i've never worn it so i wanted to try it out 
and I like it like it feels good on my lips and it looks good but it's very bold like you would need an all black something very subtle to pull this lip off going out me personally but it looks good um oh yeah this just it hit me like woo. <laughs> it definitely adds pop i have the brown one too i don't know where it's at it's probably one of my purses because i wear that to t the brown one on a brown lip everything everything okay so yeah i love rihanna's um lipsticks top tier period one thing about this like i know the reason why i don't like lip gloss too is because a lot of times it gets on my drinks and like your straw the thing too where i'm just i don't like sticky stuff especially like i just don't i'm not a i'm a clear gloss girly but i'm not like a every look has to have gloss i'm just not so yeah i feel like if i could change anything honestly i wouldn't change this but like i said if i was going out i would definitely do something a little more subtle do a little bit more matte look because the gloss she's glossing babe she's glossing it's a lot going on mm -hmm.